This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the Mantis mission. This is a bit of a long one. I'm sorry about that, but it's a pretty big mission. Hope you enjoy it. To get the Mantis mission, you have to kill some spacers. Uh, at some point, you'll loot a slate off of one of them that points you towards Denebola, which is where the base is. There's a small exterior area with uh, several enemies. Nothing too horrible. I'm trying to show enough of the fight that you get a good sense for it, but not so much that it becomes boring. Wow, oh, he's trying to get away. And in we go. So, this is mostly linear. Uh, there are bad guys throughout. I'm walk working with a silenced weapon, so there are a couple times where I come up on somebody unaware, uh, probably because they're not hearing gunfire. At least not my gunfire. I'm gonna go down. So I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. I don't know if that legendary the is standard. Was or if I just got lucky. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. You are doing well, Leon. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. Spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. Stay sharp. Focused. Just a little further. Back here is a little out of the way corner that you could really easily miss. We got a sleeping guy. He has some fair loot. And back in the corner there is uh, a little bit more loot along with a locked safe. Don't leave any of that behind. There's somebody chilling up here that you might be able to get a sneak attack on if that's something you're into. I just walked up and shot him. Blew up Sarah. Last 
This is one of the two big firefights in this level. Uh, be aware that there is an area to the left once you get down to that platform for the second set of stairs. Just keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, we should be fine. So, I don't know how that guy got to be hanging there. If that was an explosion or something else. But he's got a pretty cool helmet. Make sure you're locked and loaded. Spacers don't like people invading their junk piles. Here in this gold case is one of the great pieces of armor you can find in this level. Sorry about the jumpiness of some of these cuts. I did a lot of looking around, trying to find everything I could, and most of it was garbage. So I didn't want to make you sit through I that. Unarmed. Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. No one knew how to get through the corridor. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. Five? Six? It's hard to find... Uh, volunteers. See? I've been helpful. You... 
you could let me go. Or better, I can help. You can trust me. Trust is maybe too strong a word. Yeah. We need each other, so we use each other. Then, when the arrangement is no good, we decide then. So, I will hold back here. He's and, really honest. Well, good luck. He will try and lock you in a room with a robotic dog. So, this is an interesting puzzle. Uh, if you do the full conversation with Livy, he gives you uh, one word that doesn't work, but he doesn't give you any successful first letters or anything, so you're on your own to figure this out. I can't even see the back row, so trying to figure out what word this might spell is really hard. So right there, I learned that it doesn't start with an S. This has killed so many of us. Yeah. I thought Six Emperor Tyrannus might be it. So I spent time going through everything I could. I went through old journals, uh, all the audio. I ran around this place for a solid 15 minutes looking for clues that might tell me what in the world I was supposed to spell out in that room. Couldn't find anything. So. I haven't looked it up, haven't looked to see if there's another solution to that yet. If you want to put it in the comments, I'm sure some of you know another way to get through this. But I had to, I had to do a little brute force. And when I say brute force, that doesn't mean trying every combination. Yeah, I even went outside looking for clues. It didn't help. Keep your eyes on anything. Death is everywhere. I'm not helpful. This is me staring at the floor trying to figure out what in the world. And this is me saying screw it. This is me trying to kill turrets. That didn't work. And this is me realizing there's a button over here. And we're through. One more turret right there, but it's, it's a Mark III, I think, instead of a Mark VI, like the four turrets out in the hallway. So, not a big deal. Now, you've got two robots. One with multiple health bars, one with just a single health bar. Searching them, make it quick. I was gonna say the last bad guy is the dog we're coming up to here, but there is like one more robot past that. It's not a not a big deal. And this is the place where Livia will lock you in if he gets the chance. So don't go past that door unless you like being in the box with an angry dog. That's that. Not sure exactly what killed Livy, but I 
totally do not feel bad about it. So to the left here is an elevator that will take us back up to the main level. It empties out behind a security door into one of the very first rooms. To open the security door, just use the computer on the left, no codes required, just click the button. Now back in the basement, we get, there's an announcement from mom there which I skipped. This is our actual last robot. This area is off. And from this point on, it's just exploring, looting, finding the stuff. This is an area back to the left from the entrance. It's got a cool weapon in here. And then a living space to explore. The computer gives you a little bit more history. I leave each uh, file up on the screen for about three seconds, so you can pause and read the whole thing if you like. You're carrying too many odds and ends. Yeah, I know. And here is the Mantis armor. Uh, back left off of the bedroom as you're going in facing the bathroom. This is pretty cool armor uh, with one especially cool feature. When you crouch in it, you go invisible. I actually used this after doing a pickpocket and you see security wandered up to within two feet of me before they noticed where I was. Got another locked chest here and a not locked chest and a storage box this is in the back left corner of the mantis room so up here on the left are a couple robot pods not sure how you open those. Those are probably for a stealthy person. Stealthy, breaky entry person. I'm so overburdened, I had to keep stopping to catch my breath. So, a little bit of choppy editing for that, too. We've got another computer terminal here with some more history. Uh, if you want to read it all, feel free to pause as it goes through. This is just a little bit about the system trying to wipe itself, assuming, uh, presumably when the pirates came in. And here's the switch that gives you access to the ship. first came into the area outside there was a dilating opening on the ground that you ran across that has opened this piston is pushing the ship up and when you go outside you can have access to it so the next thing is to head back towards the control area where that elevator is and take it back to the surface Here's the door outside. And pulling up your scanner gives you that path information that's so helpful. And it's just up the stairs to the left and you're there.
Welcome to the Razor Leaf. There's a nav console right there, which I'm very happy about. Just to your right, uh, next to that desk is a bed. And then the bridge is up front. And where you came in, there's a ladder. That ladder goes to an upper deck that has a bunch of storage in it. It's got weapon containers, stands to put items on, uh, has weapon racks on the walls. There's some really good stuff. Might be good to take a look around up here. I didn't find any special items when I came looking through, just some regular stuff. But if you want to have some extra storage beyond the regular storage of the ship, it's all right here. One quick note, if you decide to fly away and you just jump straight up into orbit, you will be in a fight right away. Uh, when I did this, I chose to jump back to New Atlantis instead. But, you know, do what you want. If you're out to kill some pirates or Spacers, or whatever. There's some waiting for you in orbit. I'm gonna skip it. This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today for the Mantis walkthrough. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, and or share the video. And if you noticed anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments. Thanks, and see you soon.